Hello, Hello. welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie, and today we are still in RV as usual. Uh, we'll be in here for everyone, I think. And uh, I've got a quick card, and most of the stuff, all of it mainly is uh, creative memory. It is the uh, Endless Meadows kit, <clears throat> paper kit, and embellishments and all that fun stuff and um, I have some of the kit I'll have all of the kit but I do have I did buy the uh, digital part of it and just printed it out on my eco printer it's great for me because I am so limited on space understand if I could if I had the space I would buy the regular stuff but um, like a space. So we are going to use the little personal trimmer today, and I love this thing. Let me tell you. And first of all, we are going to use this piece of a paper, pattern paper. Now, um, it's I need it four in the corner. So I'm just going to cut it four in the corner. And it's not going to cut all the way, but with the magic of this, I can cut it still. And y'all, y'all are going to hear everything in the background. I, I'm sorry, but there's just no way around it today. We are fixing to have an ice storm and they are trying to get the RV ready for the ice storm. I'm hoping they're lying to us. Okay, and this needs to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And this don't go five and a half. So here's my little trick is the um, Creative Memories ruler. You can use any ruler you have. This is just the one I've got. And I'm going to stick this on five and a half. And then I'm just going to take it up to my blade and trim it just like so just like so okay this one we no it's this one we need four inches and this is roughly four inches and I need And it's got, I don't know if y'all can tell, it's got little lines, just peach lines. And I need this five and a quarter. Let me get this real right. Or five and a fourth. Um, y'all, uh, I swear y'all can hear. Okay. Now, maybe I'm back. Okay. This is five, uh, four inches by five and a quarter. And then this one needs to be three and a quarter. And okay, five and a quarter, which needs to be five inches. So, I think I've got this right. I'm confused. What's well, new? And all these measurements will be on my blog uh, at Angie's Creative Studios dot net. Or the ones that needs. Okay. And I know that ain't what that is meant for it to be. But ain't it cute? It's perfect for these little scraps. What you're watching. Okay. I think I can get rid 
event time being and this okay now let's build this coin and yes I, I built one similar to it but we're gonna build this one a little bit different okay I am using the creative uh, repositionable tape for the ones that Nick wants to know and all um, the creative memory website and all is going to be down below it's in the corner of the video okay yeah i did it 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 i did good This needs to be just a hair small. So I'm going to just take it to the trim and make it a, about a quarter inch small. Y'all hear the back hole? I'm hoping all this is not recording all the sounds. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, the next thing is, um, this is for the core, and this is horizontal or vice versa. I don't know. I ain't gonna get into it. But what I did was fussy cut this one out to look like this, and this is what it normally looks like. And I am going to use pop dot or pop. Uh, foam screws or whatever you want to call these silly things. Pop. I've always called them pop pop dots, but I think they pop screws or foam screws. I, I don't know. Today, today's one of those days. I don't know. Oh, I've got one thing. We have to cut a border out. I am cutting this border out, and I'm going to do some fussy cutting. I'm going to try to. And uh, like I said, I buy the digitals, and then I just download what I want. I love it, and make it. The size I want. My printer does pretty good stuff. Prints. Like I said, I'm in all these, so room is limited. When I say room is limited, I mean room is limited. And I'm not going to do a very fancy uh, fussy cutting with this. I'm just going in, just kind of And you don't even have to do this. I did it on the other one. I just kind of cut it. But I decided I wanted to do it a little bit different. So I have some stubby. Okay, here the back hole come back. I don't know, guys. Okay. Throw this away. Get it out of my way. Okay. 
I'm just going to take through double sided tape. Use what you've got. You don't have to use what I've got. And then I'm just going to trim this off. Just like so. Now we can put the sun. And here comes my husband. Oh, my daughter. I don't know which one. This is why I tried to get everything done before I started. And I'm going to re- I'm not going to put this in the center like I did last time. Because I'm going to put this big old flower right here. And I'm going to pop I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this double it, okay. just like so. Yes, Miss Tasty. Okay, just pop that and uh, all we have to do is put it on the card base. And then I'm sticking this inside where you can write on it. You can write on it and then stick it. And there we have a pretty card to send. I hope you enjoyed this video. Come, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.